Our first question is from Ifra. And this is a frequently asked questions. She says, are bridal and baby showers allowed in Islam? First of all, we have to understand a very important concept in Islam because you often go through so many similar cases and you might be in a dilemma whether this is halal or, or haram. Sometimes you may even be frustrated from the amount of haram you hear from scholars and students of knowledge. Every time you ask them, you say haram, haram, haram. So if you teach people how to fish, it's, it's much better than giving them a fish every day. And therefore, what is the main concept that governs our rulings in Islam? Number one, that Islam prevails over all. And number two, that Islam is the origin and everything else follows and not the other way around. So we don't come to Islam and try to make it fit our lives. On the contrary, we go to our lives and try to make it fit Islam. So having said that, you have to filter and scrutinize everything in your life just to make sure that it is in synchronize with Islam and not the other way around. Now, bridal showers, what are they? They're definitely not from the Muslim tradition. Okay, wearing your watch is not from the Muslim tradition. Riding a car is not from a Muslim tradition. Using your PDA or coming on TV is not from the Islamic tradition. Don't mix apples with oranges unless you're making fruit salad. See, the Prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam, in a long hadith narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhumah, he said at the end, وَمَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ And whoever imitates a people, he is considered to be from them, from among them. And this hadith clearly states that we are not allowed to imitate people. So if I'm riding a car, am I imitating a people? The answer is no, because everybody rides a car. This is not specific for the Buddhists or for the Hindus or for the Christians or for the Jews. Everybody rides a car. So this is not something part of their tradition, customs or religion. Likewise, when it comes to using microphones, using TV, media, technology, etc. But when it comes to their customs, the things that they're known for, and it is identifying them, then we cannot mimic them or use such things. I cannot wear a Texan hat because this is for disbelievers living in that region. Likewise, if, for example, the Mexican sombrero, the Japanese kimono, eating with the chopsticks, all of these are part of their customs. The Muslims don't do this. So why would I go out of my way to imitate them? There's something wrong in my aqidah. Likewise, if someone celebrates the New Year's or celebrates their false celebrations, imitating them, the Muslims don't have this. Coming to the bridal showers and the baby showers, this is not part of our tradition, our customs. For the bride, once she gets married, we have the walima. This is Islamic, a feast. We call people to eat, men and women segregated. Alhamdulillah, they have a good time. For the baby, we have on the seventh day what is known as aqiqa. Then this is okay. Go ahead with it. No problem. Now, when we come to bridal and baby showers, we find that the origin is un-Islamic. 
It was in the 19th century, they used to compensate the bride with some gifts because of the dowry she had to pay. And in Islam, men pay the dowry, not the other way around. And there are th so many things associated to it. So in short, this is not permissible to have bridal or baby showers. You want to visit the bride-to-be and give her gifts? Go ahead, but don't throw a party and don't call the party bridal shower. And likewise for the children, newborns, you want to give uh, um, a gift to the parents? No problem. Go ahead and give it to them. This is halal, but not to have a specific celebration and to call people to it with such a name and function, and Allah knows best.